There was a Dr. Truman Fleet. He was very involved in the healing arts. And he believed in holistic medicine. He was like Emerson. Emerson said the doctor of the future will use no medicine. He would use energy healing. And he said, we've got a problem. Our problem is all disease originates on a higher level in the mind that expresses itself in the body. We've been treating the symptom. We have not been treating the cause of the problem. If a person has a financial problem, it's a mental problem. It's not a financial problem. Financial problems are just a manifestation of lack and limitation in your own consciousness. Phil earns millions of dollars today. The only thing he's changed is his own conscious awareness. The money was always there. Just got in harmony with it. The Eagle, the uh, Oscars were there. The Emmys. The, the, all these things are always there. You've got to get in harmony with them. See that, Nino? Is that making sense? Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It's a lot different being in here than being in a, watching a video, isn't it? It is, indeed. It's the, it's the energy, you see. It's the energy. It's not me. It's not Sandy. It's everybody. It's the energy of the group. And as you start to study this, should we tell them who you are, what you do? Sure. He's an interesting guy. He's a, uh, how many watch The Voice? How many like The Voice? I love The Voice. I was sitting in, uh, what's her name? In, uh, no, Gwen. Gwen's, I was sitting in Gwen's seat the other day. I get a picture taken, and I send it to a few people. The brother says, what are you doing there? I said, singing. <laughs> <laughs> Our good friend down here, Nino Aldi, stand up, give him a hand. He's a producer at The Voice. <laughs> we got singers over here on this side. They would love to get you in the corner for an hour or two, all that. Anyway. We'll tell you something. They get an interesting idea going. They have a really interesting concept, a singing concept, music concept. You, you'd be interested in it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll put it on the screen. It's, it's a fascinating concept. It really is. You could probably make a show out of it. In fact, you could make a show out of it. You know, it's a hell of a good idea. You know? But we'll talk about it later. But anyway, this here is where we really start to turn things around. This is what really changed your life. Would you agree? It definitely changed mine. No one has ever seen the mind. So most people, when they start thinking of the mind, they think of the brain. The brain is not the mind any more than your fingernail is. Brain is an electronic switching station. The brain cannot think, but you think with the brain. The mind activates cells in the brain Sets up a vibration in the body, that's what causes the body to move. Like for me to move my arm up and down, I had to activate cells in my brain. My brain is an electronic switching station. My body is an electronic instrument. And so as I activate cells in my brain, my arm moves. Now, if those cells in my brain that move my arm, if they didn't get blood on a regular basis, they'd be dead. That's what happens when a person takes a stroke. Then the arm just hangs loose. But we have found if we take the arm and we exercise it, close the hand, lift the arm, put the arm down, we will educate healthy cells to do what the damaged cells can no longer do, and the person will get the use of their limb back. Well, this good doctor said, nobody's ever seen the mind, so I'm gonna draw a picture of the mind. And this is what he came up with. To me, this is a genie. It is an actual genie. And he divided the big circle, he said, that's the mind, there's the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the little circle is the body. That is, without question, in 58 years, that's the most valuable idea I have ever learned. I was able to sit down with Sandy and show her how she could make the transition she wanted to make, and she'd accomplish everything in her life that she wanted to accomplish, and beyond that, and that's what she has done. Very accomplished in what she's done. She started to ride horses. She's won championships on the horses. Okay? Use the same concepts we use here. They're goals, and we do them. But that drawing is what really makes it happen. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Do you remember when you first saw it? I was just thinking. 
I was just thinking back to that because Bob, he really led up to this graphic before it came on the screen and he said it's the most valuable thing he ever learned and then a little circle and then a stick and a smaller circle and some little arms and legs. And I laughed, I couldn't help it. I, I thought this can't be that powerful. <laughs> but it is so powerful. And, and Bob said that he, when he looks at a person, he sees, you know, like he just pictures, your head isn't your mind, but he would picture your head and picture your body as a small circle and then dividing the mind between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. And then understanding the difference between the two. And until you have a visual for this, you can't really understand it. Like if we just talk about the mind as movement, it's in every cell of your being. It's, it's flowing to and through you at all times and, and you're triggering these cells. And then we try to talk about what to put in your mind and what to put in your conscious mind and what to put in your subconscious mind. You wouldn't, you wouldn't understand it because you wouldn't have an image. And we have to start with an image. So this graphic gives you the image. And then you can truly understand the two radically different parts of the mind. You know, the conscious mind is what we learn about. It's the educated mind. We can originate ideas. We can accept and reject ideas. But the subconscious mind, that as, as James Allen said, the treasury of your subconscious mind, that's where the powerhouse is. And it cannot tell the difference between what's real or imagined. If you tell your subconscious mind, if you let something pass the gates of your conscious mind, it goes into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind must accept it. How much are we letting go into our subconscious mind unconsciously that we begin to believe, you know? Like, I'm not talented enough for that, or, or you know, I'm, I'm fat, or whatever, I'm, I'm just not smart enough. The subconscious mind has to believe it. But the beautiful truth is, it will believe the reverse. You just have to keep feeding it. You know, I'm at my perfect weight, I'm fit, I'm beautiful, I'm a powerhouse, I'm so intelligent. I can do this, I am doing this. And your subconscious mind believes it. Your body's just an instrument of the mind, so it moves into action. It changes the vibration you're in, attracts to you everything you need to achieve that goal. So even though this was so silly to me initially, it's really extremely powerful. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notification. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.